So hey everyone, it's Banana Man. Um, welcome back to my channel and we're going to talk about Untouchables today. So when you're packing to uh, go on your journey to make your AMV, there are three things you're going to definitely want to leave at home. So you're going to want to leave your rainbow filter at home, WMM, you know what it is, Windows Movie Maker, and um, 2040 quality. Alright, so why leave rainbow filter. I know so many of you love it. Um, well, when you start to get professional, it really leaves you in behind and um, if you want to compete, you're going to need something of higher quality than um, rainbow filter. If you love rainbows, you just you just got to have them. There are tons, tons, I tell you, tons of alternatives. So, if you want to use rainbow filter, but you don't want to use rainbow filter. You can choose several animes out there that have high quality, just lovely colors and they're great and they will give you the impression of a rainbow, but without having the rainbow filter. So then we move on to our Windows Movie Maker. Now I know a lot of you can't afford anything else, but um, Windows Movie Maker will leave you behind. If you're looking to go into any school for video editing, Windows Movie Maker, they will not accept anything. So, same with contests. I've seen very few that have gotten in on Windows Movie Maker, but um, they've never won. It just You can tell right away if it's Windows, Windows Movie Maker. Now, alternatives. Um, cheap solutions would be Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud. It's only 20 bucks a month and um, gives you After Effects so you can work on your videos quite well and uh, that's actually what I use. Um, I've heard from friends that I talked to that Sony Vega is good. Um, it's a little easier than After Effects but um, more limited so beware when you're getting it. Um, then you can go full out and buy like an editor system, um, which I wouldn't recommend if you're just starting out. Um, and you can tell the difference between the qualities of these videos very easily, so I would check them out. Um, next, so all of you have seen the little icon at the bottom of YouTube that allows you to check the quality of the video. So you want yours to be 720. If it's 4080, that's fine. Um, certain contests will still gladly accept it, but when you start to get into high contests like um, AcrossCon and um, there's a few other that I can't think of right now, but I will put them in the description. Um, they want 720, they want the 1001, they want as high quality as you can go because they're using really big screens and they don't want it to be blurry. So 2040 is out of the question. And a little way to get around that is if you're downloading your um, videos from YouTube, then you want to do it a higher quality than you're aiming for, because then if your system even brings it down the level, you're still safe. So that is my helpful hints for today, and to leave the untouchables behind.